hey hey hello welcome or welcome back to my channel today i would like to talk about if the david bud trilogy was actually worth my time so after having to one two so after spending quite a bit of time at least a couple of years a handful of years this series isn't that old um wanting to read the books because they looked intriguing they i really didn't know a lot about them to be honest but they sounded intriguing enough to want to pick them up um last year and last end of last year i started to read the city of brass i did not finish it <laughs> i did finish it a couple of months ago I finished it a couple of months ago now, but in 2023 and not last year. So it, it, it took a bit. I put it down, okay? I put it down. I didn't want to look at it. Quick sum up of the books. So book number one, The City of Brass. So Nari. Nari has never really believed in magic and she's kind of grown up to be this con woman on the streets of Cairo. As you do. Although she doesn't actually believe that magic is real, she does seem to know about some abilities that she has. So she uses those and in her con woman games. And then she accidentally summons a djinn. As you do. As you do. And you know, all hell breaks loose, obviously, because why wouldn't it now nari and dara the djinn she summoned they are on the run to devabud to the city of brass where it turns out she's actually from mm -hmm. of course of course and of course once there more hell breaks loose <laughs> so there's this mystery there's intrigue and so on and they're trying to figure out what's going on as well as trying to figure out who she is who she comes from and all that uh, along the side of following other characters as well but mostly we focus on nari so we we don't care about the other characters right now they're there they're there so book number two which is the first one of the bunch i read now <laughs> so it's called the kingdom of copper so this book basically starts off where book one leaves off but then very quickly we have a time jump <laughs> There's this freaking time jump which just confused the hell out of me i didn't even notice it happening uh but there were characters and they were all like well five years ago when i came to david Bond, and i was like um 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 what now <sighs> so yes five years has passed and nari is basically the go-to healer and Ali, one of the other characters we follow in book one he's been banished by his father for daring to question him because why would you dare to question your father who's also like the ruler of the world not the world but david but and also the woman nari's told in book one is her mother and you know that person is also supposedly dead she's not dead she's come back and she wants to take over Davabod. The city of brass is in her grasp. What was that? I don't know. So she, the presumed dead mother, um, who's not dead, she and Dara, the djinn, um, is now set to conquer Davabod. Yeah. Uh-huh. Nara, naturally Nari is you know questioning everything and everyone I can't blame her <laughs> so book number three the empire of gold so 
as you might have guessed it, David Bard is conquered. So, book number three, David Bard has fallen. Ba-dum! <laughs> and magic is gone, because that can happen. Uh, Nari and Ollie, they narrowly escaped David Bard uh, in the end of book two and now they <clears throat> and now they've uh, ended back in Cairo because so why not so this being the final chapter of the whole story the final chapter of the last book how you want to see it there's of course another showdown because it's a weird ending to just, well, I'm just gonna live happily ever after in Cairo and not care that magic is gone and this land you presumably hail from is conquered and, I don't know, trash? Who knows? Do they rebuild David Bard? Do they conquer it back? What happens? You'll have to read it to find out. I'm just vaguely spoiling you here. And, uh, yeah. Uh, also, as an added bonus, which I'm not sure I want to call a bonus at all, but I also read the short story collection, The River of Silver. As a whole, I did enjoy the series. However, I do question <laughs> if we needed all the books, if they needed to be that long and that many. Possibly not. Possibly, possibly not. I feel like there's a lot of things that could have been taken out and rearranged and made it possibly a duology rather than a trilogy with a fourth book full of short stories. I, I feel like that probably would have been the better alternative. But I did enjoy it. I just don't know if I desperately needed to read it because there's a lot and there's not a lot <laughs> there's a lot of books and text but is there a lot of content um i would have had wanted to edit it down not gonna lie but i'm not an editor so i don't do that there's also the fact that the names of the characters, the titles of the characters and oh there's so many things. One person is called like a hundred different things and it doesn't make sense in my brain because these are not words I use every day or like most people use every day. I don't know if they're made up or if they're uh, derived from somewhere. I can tell you because these are not my everyday words so i would have liked like a glossary or like more explanation about what these different titles and things are uh so i wouldn't have been so confused also there are some names that could have stood out a bit more and be a bit more different because at one point i thought nari had married her brother yeah which is just bleh. So gross. So gross. So, the short story collection. I did not feel that was necessary, like, at all. You don't get more to the story, so it's not like it's needed in that way. However, if you are a diehard fan of the series, the short story collection will give you like the more fluffy bits that you may want because you miss the you miss your favorite characters fair enough for me although i enjoyed and mostly liked the series i didn't love it and i don't feel like i'm a die hard fan of it so i could have stood without the short story collection I still read it because that's what I do because <laughs> why not so in conclusion I liked it I enjoyed it but I could have lived without having read it so take that as you will <sighs> yeah hopefully that was 
cohesive in some way yeah so if you've read this series please do let me know and we can have a chat about it whether you liked it or you didn't like it doesn't matter let's have a chat and if you're thinking about reading the series if you really do want to read it read it <laughs> you can always dnf it if you want yeah there's that so yes thank you so much for watching i shall see you all next time until then take care oh boy